playoffs. 2K Sports brings it to you live once again. And in our matchup tonight, we'll see the Minnesota Timberwolves going up against the Phoenix Suns with Hall of Famer Doris Burke and Greg Anthony. This is Kevin Harlan. On the sidelines, we have David Aldridge reporting. And now the opening lineup for Phoenix. Nurkic is out there with Durant. Then there's Devin Book. Then there's Bradley Beal. And it's Allen in at the three spot. And for the Timberwolves, we've got Conley. Gobert is out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then there's Edwards. And it's McDaniels in at the three spot. Timberwolves win the tip. Edwards against Booker. Edwards looking it over. A three-pointer no good. Takes the three. No good from Booker. And so it's Towns with it. He brings it up for the Timberwolves. Here's Conley. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. Mike Conley continues to perform at a high level. Over a decade as a pro, still doing work. And Beal kicks to KD. Count it good. Kevin. How about the balance from Durant? More strong than you would think that frame suggests. Able to finish through contact as KD. Oh, here's Edwards. Three-pointer. And it's sent back by Allen. He can't get that one. Great tee that time from Edwards. Neal against Conley. Passes to McDaniels. Six on the shot clock. Back to Conley. The three. No good that time. Now the Suns take it the other way. Thursday's loss was a disappointment. I mean, a tough one. Uh, faced some serious intensity in terms of that comeback, and they just got overwhelmed in that fourth quarter. Uh, unfortunately, just couldn't stay in the game long enough to force overtime. Here's McDaniels. Kevin Durant picking up that last pass. Outside Conley. Pass to Edwards. Or the three. Rebound by the Suns. And they're one of five to start this game. Just really haven't gotten into a flow offensively. Well, Devin Booker's ability to put offense on his back is huge for any organization. His willingness to absorb and embrace responsibility is so crucial. The Suns keeping their initial free throws in the game right here. At the line for two. Good Booker. Both free throws good from Booker. You can tell when he steps to the line the kind of confidence he has in himself. It's written all over his body language. And here's Edwards from the arc. Hits the three-point bomb. Well, the work that Anthony Edwards is putting in as a shooter is there. That range shot so important. Nice three-point look right there. Beal against Cup. Floats one up. Beal can't get it to go. Timberwolves trail. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks. I caught up with Chris Finch. The coach did not mince words. He told his team that even though they took game one, they have to come out and play with even more intensity to keep their home court advantage. He said, so far, we've just held serve. 
is only going to get tougher Half from here on out. Back to you, Kevin. Ball. Thank you, David. One shot. The free throw drops for Towns. Well, we know this. Carl Anthony Towns was a go-to option from the very first moment he stepped in the lines of an NBA court. The versatility is so difficult to match up against. Nobody near Norkish. And the Suns miss again. And so it's Conley bringing up the ball for the Timberwolves. Now on against Edwards. Towns wide open. And another three for Minnesota. Well, on selfish play by Anthony Edwards' teammate is wide open. He puts it right where it needs to be. Beal, that's for two. And some very quick points for him on that possession. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. And there's the call on Devin Booker. That's his first foul. Second team foul. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. Now here's McDaniel, defended by Booker. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. Clearly a foul. The Timberwolves shooting their second and third shots at the line right here. line for Minnesota, Jaden McDaniel. Taking two shots. He misses the free throw. And he sinks the second. Suns trail by four. Now here's Beal. Booker outside. Shoots the three. Another shot. No good. Gobert with the defensive effort. Here's McDaniels. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Phoenix has gone 0-3 three from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. And he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one is on top. No question he got blocked on that shot. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. Taking two shots. Free throw is good. He hits one, then misses the second attempt from the free throw. Edwards with it. Now guarded by Booker. The kick out to town. And a miss there on the triple. Suns trail by three. KD passes to Allen. They get it back. Durant. And the rejection by town. Conley against Beal. The kick out to town. And the pass to McDaniels. Back to Towns. Bear trying to get open, lays it up and banks it in. Eight points for Carl Anthony Towns. I'll tell you what, it's hard to stop Carl Anthony Towns when he's looking to score. He's got every trick at his arsenal. And first time out of the game called for Phoenix. And with their offense sputtering, coaches 
Gotta get them back on track. And to me, they're just taking too many tough shots. And when they do get an easy one, the confidence just isn't there. Now here's Beal. Pass to Allen. Fires the three. It's good from long range. This is the area of greatest improvement in Mr. Bradley Beal's game. How about the growth in his passing? Wow. Here's Edwards. Rebound by Nurkic. Well, this is the night you look at your teammates and tap them on the back and say, good job, because for him, he's been struggling all night. You know, so much of rebounding is about effort, and no lack of that right there. He had to box out and establish great position. Conley finds McDaniel. An amazing finish with a hand right in his face. Well, we've come to expect this from Mike Conley, putting the pass on time and on target. Hooker the pass to Durant. It's Beal on the way for by Conley. The shot by Beal, no good. Timberwolves leading by four. Here's McDaniels. The kick out to Towns. Shoots over KD. Towns, no luck. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for the Suns. Durant just inside the line. Kevin That's Durant. good. And so Beal with the assist. Uh, Kevin Durant's silky smooth. He's got the skill set of a guard, but the size of a center, and it allows him to dominate the paint. Here's Towns. Durant with some nice D. Phoenix has gone one of five from downtown in the first quarter. Points out there have been hard to come by. No good from Booker. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. Shot by McDaniels, no good. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Outside, Beal. Shot clock at six. Back to Booker. Shoots over McDaniel. And it's in and after a nice right. bounce off the right side. Booker's got it all tied up now for the Suns. So the Timberwolves call their first timeout. And sometimes from the outside, not always clear what led a coach to call for a timeout. And as you know, it's what comes after that gives you some sense of what has changed. Nas Reed, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Alexander Walker comes in for Michael Conley. And then for Phoenix, Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. And O'Neal subbed in for Allen. Edwards can't hit. Nothing seems to be going his way this quarter. Well, not at the offensive end, certainly. He cannot buy a bucket right now. Now here's Booker. A three-pointer is right on target. And now it's a three-point Suns lead. Well, this is very much the definition of a shooting guard. Booker always looking to rise and fire from range. Here's Towns. Floats one, and good that time. Towns has got 10 points. This guy is putting his fingerprints all over the game in this quarter. He has flat out dominated the offensive end. Here's Booker. He can't get it to go. And Minnesota now the other way. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Towns for three. And that's out of bounds. Minnesota will retain possession. Timberwolves ball. Defense Phoenix. Outside Edwards. Shot clock at five. I like the effort Booker gives on defense, especially when he pressures the shooter. And that one, good. Nine points in the game so far. Timberwolves trailed by three. Pass to McDaniels. 
Now, here's Reed. Outside Edwards. Here's Alexander Walker. Phoenix grabs the miss. Boy, defense nowhere to be found, and neither was his shot at that time. Booker looking around. Here's Eubanks. Defended by Tom. Pocket six. And Beal kicks to Booker. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got assist number five here tonight. Guys are looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively. For Two minutes sure. remaining in the first. Two minutes. Pass to Reed. Here's Alexander Walker. Trying to answer back, but that three is off the mark. KD dishes to Booker. Towns with the steal. 139 left to play here in the first. Here's McDaniels. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. Fourth team foul. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from for Phoenix. At the line. We've got a bunch of this game yet to be played, but they're shooting it well from the three-point line. That's got to be a welcome sight. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. Minnesota making some changes. Kyle Anderson comes in for Towns. And Morris subbed in for Edwards. And the Suns making a change here as well. Gordon's checked in. He hits the second from the line. 135 left in the first. Booker outside. The pass to KD. Reed with the block. It's going to be out of bounds. The Suns will retain possession. Minnesota making some changes. Towns, he's checked in for Kyle Anderson. Warren comes in for McDaniels. And Anthony Edwards subbed in for Monte Moore. Anthony Edwards. Here's Katie. He has six. Kevin Two Durant. points. That one goes. Assist from That's now eight points for Kevin Durant. Durant. The ability to be ready to rise and fire in that situation is so important. Kevin Durant, no doubt. Pass to Towns. There's a minute left to play in the first. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. I'll tell you, despite this guy's strong play in this period, they're still behind. Someone else has got to step up. Gordon, the best to you back. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Yeah, easy call. For Phoenix, they have shot 75% of the line tonight. Won three goals. Drew Eubanks. Two shots. First free throw is good. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. Two for one chance here. Let's see if they use the clock to their advantage. Towns down low. Durant's there. Kept alive. And Towns gets it to go. Well, they're not behind because of this guy. He is putting on a tremendous run. Booker outside. Passes it to KD. A rebound by the Timberwolves. Towns has got four rebounds now tonight. Here's 
Warren. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting from Durant. It's on Kevin Durant. When T.J. Warren is being aggressive, good things tend to happen. Puts the defense in a tough spot there. Minnesota shooting their sixth and seventh free throw attempts tonight. Warren. Two shots. First one falls. Well, I love T.J. Warren. The reason, guys, is he's proven to be a dependable scorer who's got good versatility, and he can play either forward position. So important in today's NBA. He hits both from the strike. There's 14 seconds left here in the opening quarter. Durant feeling it out a bit. And they get it back. And that one's good, Eubanks. Eubanks. Well, just it's easy to say, this guy wanted it more. Creating the second chance opportunity and cashing in. And so it's Devin Booker and making Eubanks highlights Eubanks. for the Phoenix Sun. His work on the glass was outstanding in that quarter. Great Eubanks. rebound. Right back after this break. This is we get going here in game two. And from what we've seen, guys, from the Suns, uh, what are you thinking so far? Guys, I love their defense in that first period. They were in position and just challenging shots. Well, I think they combined great intelligence with great effort, and you can see the results. Suns leading by five, setting the floor for the Suns. They've got bowls. Bradley Beal is out there with Gordon. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Allen in at the small forward. Now here's Gordon, still looking for his first bucket in this one. Morris outside. Pass to Alexander Walker. From the arc. The shot misses, so Phoenix will take it the other way. Second chance effort, and Nurkic finishes inside. And the Suns lead by seven. And this is where Nurkic gets a lot of his points, staying active even after the shot goes up. Morris, no good. For Phoenix, they've gone one of three to start out the second quarter. Morris against Beal. He dishes it to Bull. Gordon for three. Rebound by Alexander Walker. Definitely a situation you want to make sure you don't give him too good of a look. On the left block, and it's in off the backboard. Textbook, nice pass, great catch, even better finish. Outside, Beal. Shoots it. Minnesota with the rebound. Reed kicks to Morris. That shot off. Gordon with the defensive effort. It's Beal on the wing. Can't cash in from close range. And it's Anderson with the ball for Minnesota. Oh! oh. Fancy with that one. Yeah, maybe trying to give them the momentum boost they need to break this game open. Now here's Beal. Quarter two and just under two and a half minutes gone by. And it's keeping it alive with a new 14. Here's Nurkic. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. And with his skill, Nurkic can score from anywhere on the court, but when you're 280, his skills probably better utilized inside. Out to Morris. Goes back up. Gordon with the defensive effort. Phoenix leading by five. Got a piece 
use of it. Now Morris. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Offensive rebound. Phoenix has gone 0-3 from beyond the arc to start the second quarter. Here's Gordon. Anderson with the block. Here's Alexander Walker. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Alexander Walker's got four points this quarter. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Beal finds Gordon. High arcing shot. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Bradley Beal. Beal's got six assists in the game. Morris looking over the floor. To the paint. Here's Reed. Banked in off the glass. Reed's got his second basket of the night. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now. Timeout. Especially on the interior. Phoenix calls timeout. And, and team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the Here fans are always down. privy to. It's He's tough to hide your communications. Teams go to great lengths to try to do it, but sometimes to no avail. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Reed. And Anthony Edwards subbed in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And Phoenix also making a switch. Kevin Durant's checked in for Bull. Now here's Beal. Nobody near Allen. And the Suns miss again. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Near the three-point line, it's Edwards. And the Timberwolves take on two more. The Suns leading. Gordon dishes to Beal. Allen outside. The pass to Gordon. This one for three. Nailed from three-point land. For three. Gordon's got five. It's so many of Gordon's shots come from three-point range because he drains so many of them. When you've had his kind of success from beyond the arc, you're always going to have the green light. Now here's Anderson. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Just five on the clock. Fires the three. And Durant sends it back. This is probably the aspect as his career has gone on where Kevin, Kevin Durant. Durant has improved the most. The defensive end, he is a real factor. Morris passes to McDaniels. Pass to Beal. There it is, his second make of the game. He's missed five. Great finish. What a setup. Terrific ball movement there. Anderson outside. They need this. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Yeah, I need to see some more assertiveness out of these defenders. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. At the line for your Timberwolves, Kyle Anderson shooting one. Free throw, good, Anderson. Suns leading by five. Beal, the pass to Allen. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. First personal foul. He shot two free throws in the game, made one and missed one. At the line for the Suns, Grayson Allen taking two shots. First one falls for. Allen drops them both. 
Admirals trailed by seven. And here is Morris. No points in the game yet for him. Shoots off the step back. Nice jump shot. Good. He's going to be just a step slow reacting to the step back. Morris against Beal. Vicious to Gordon. Allen outside. A pointer. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert's got five rebounds tonight. To the wing right side. Morris outside. Six to shoot. Passes it to Gobert. The shot's good on the assist by Morris. Now it's just a three-point Suns lead. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Phoenix calls timeout. It's time for pizza. Some changes for Minnesota. Anthony Towns checked in for Kyle Anderson. T.J. Warren comes in for McDaniel. And it's Conley in for Morris. And for the Suns, Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. Royce O'Neal comes in for Allen. And it's Booker in for Bradley Beal. And here's Edwards. He'll bring it up for the Timberwolves. You know, we've seen him just tear after the rebounds tonight. No fear. You have to love that effort. And it's out of bounds. Well, they say it was Suns last touched by Towns. Here's Booker. Count it. Number five for the four this game. He's now five of 11. Well, Devin Booker found his rhythm early. He's sustaining the offense all by himself, and his teammates simply keep finding him. For three, Edwards. Phoenix grabs the miss. Eubanks got his fourth rebound in this one. And the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Well, after a less than stellar start in the first quarter, you like to see that shot go down. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Eric Gordon. One shot. That one misses. Timberwolves trailed by seven. Conley scanning the floor. Has to go bare. He kicks it to Edwards. From past the arc, Eubanks grabs the miss. Eubanks got his fifth rebound right now in the game. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Conley with it. And Durant sends it back. And he's able to get it back. Now the pass to O'Neal. Good on the shot. O'Neal's got the lead up to nine now for the Suns. How about the timing? Could be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Nice delivery. Conley kicks to Warren. The Timberwolves again can't hit. Gordon against Warren. Gordon dishes to Booker. Over Conley. That's good from Booker on the assist by Eric Gordon. And now an 11 point Suns lead. Some tough offensive sets. They want to turn it around. Yeah, right now you just need a bucket to get some momentum. Good. It works well there. Not much resistance from the D. It takes incredible effort to stay connected to the hip of the offensive player. You've got to want to work. Gobert with the block. Nine foot nine standing reach. Rudy Gobert twice on the pipes. Minnesota shooting around 36%. They're just not able to finish consistently. Now here's Edwards. He has five. Outside Conley. Good D by Booker. Yeah, that was a million-dollar crossover to free him up, but that finish 
I'd give him 50 cents. Well, Devin Booker known as a scorer, but this guy is able to put it on time and on target. There's a minute 40 left in the first half of the game. And looks like the illegal kick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get the attention. And it, it's only their first turnover here, so they've done a great job of protecting the rock. Phoenix leading by 11. We've got 128 left in the second quarter. And the official signal the backcourt violation. Not very careful there. We've got 128 left to play in the first half. Conley against Booker. There's the triple. And Michael Conley good for three. Conley's got seven points in the game. Well, Mike Conley has proven a consistent three-point shooter in his career. Get a hand up, folks. Booker the best, Joe Neal. Back to Booker. 55 seconds left in the first half. In for his seventh make in 14 tries. Uh, quality decision-making off that pick and roll. Booker just taking what the defense gives him. Outside, down. No one near him. Looks good, is good. That's his seventh basket in 12 tries. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. No, I think that's the one thing every player is searching for, consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Outside for KD. Really left Kevin alone that Durant. Time. And that's 12 points for Kevin Durant. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. Outside Conley. Pass to Towns. It's in there. Conley with the assist. Conley's got three assists now in this one. Well, strength and the ability and willingness to embrace, absorb, and finish through contact. Carl Anthony Towns. And so it's the Phoenix Suns holding on to an eight-point lead, heading into the break. They've set the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. Back to the action in just a minute. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Round one action of the playoffs continuing on 2K Sports. Glad to have you with us for the halftime show. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jeff Smith. Well, for the Suns, after falling into a 1-0 hole to start the series, they look to be getting back on the right track here tonight. And it's crucial that they do hold on to this halftime lead because falling behind 2-0 would leave them with a very steep building. Let's hear from you, Shaq, on the Suns' first half. They're in good shape thanks to the work they're doing on the glass. The effort has been excellent. The numbers are too. And I don't see those numbers dropping out. They're going to keep doing the dirty work in the second half. Kenny, let's get your input on the Timberwolves. They couldn't get anything from the army. Obviously, plenty of bad shots. But they couldn't even hit wide open. They need to regroup. I'm telling you, regroup with some kind of rhythm and get off pace. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Fans, your well, it doesn't get much better than playoff basketball. Let's get back to the action here in round one. You know, guys, Devin Booker has been exceptional here. And with all the pressure he must have felt coming into this one, it didn't phase him one bit. Fantastic start. Boy, he has been locked in, all about business, just going out there and doing what he does best. And we're happy to have you back for more playoff basketball here in round one. They've got Gobert. McDaniels is out there with Carl Anthony Towns. Then it's Conley, and it's Edwards in at the two-guard spot. That's Chris Finch's five as we get into the second half. Towns with the steal. Feeds to Conley. 
Out to Edwards. Driving to the basket. And finished off by Edwards. Oh, give me a little sauce, Anthony Edwards. Rise high and finished over the defender. Finally against Bia. Passes it to Nurkic. To the inside. Towns with the steal. Outside Conley. Pass to McDaniels. Left side, Towns. The putback. It's good on the putback. Now Rudy Gobert securing the board and making sure to convert. And so Booker will bring it up for Phoenix. They've led by as many as 11 points. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. We call that a great contest. You know this is something he brings to the table, the ability to anchor your defense. Edwards can't hit. Phoenix leading by four. On the wing, Booker. Over by Conley. There's Peel with the three. Suns keep it alive for Minnesota. They've gone two or four here to start the second half. Here's Edwards. Uses the glass to finish the lane. Edwards got four points in the quarter. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside, getting good shots from close range. Now here's Booker. He's got 18. Here's Beal. He feeds it to Nurkic. And foul Minnesota on the foul. shot, so he'll get a chance Rudy at the line. Gobert. It's going to be on Rudy Gobert. Just a load. I mean, at seven feet, Nurkic also moves well. And that combo gets him to the line a bunch. Free throw missing. Uh, probably a little draft in the arena tonight. He's the last guy you expect to miss the mark by that much. Absolutely. And the Suns making a change here. Durant's checked in. He's off on the second. You know, it took Nurkic a while to kind of establish himself as a starting center in the NBA, but it didn't take long to see it's a role he deserves. Now here's Booker. He's got 18. Stolen by Michael Conley. And it's all evened up. Conley's got nine points. Well, Mike Conley able to get out in the open floor, and that's where his quickness really comes to bear. Tremendous finish. And the Suns call time. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. And the question they're going to have to answer to me is, is it a problem with the scheme or is it a problem with the matchups? Give it up for your Timberwolves dancers. Three minutes gone now in the third quarter. And that's out of bounds. Out of bounds. Phoenix will retain possession. Great instincts from him to get a hand on that pass and tip it out. And offensively, a little bit of a careless toss. You could have used a better angle on that pass. Getting another opportunity here to see that powerful rejection. And that block was something. It's the playoffs, and every possession and defensive stop matters. Nurkic finds Beal to stop the drought. Boy, how about the quickness of Mike Conley to get from defensive stance to contest. That is nice. Well, I guarantee you this is not what they talked about in the locker room. 0 for 3 and looking lost. The Suns trailer. Outside, Beal. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Launches a three. Edwards with the block. 
great defensive play by Anthony Edwards engaged on that end of the floor right now. For Minnesota, they've gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% for the field. Here's McDaniels. Six points for him. Back to Conley. Just five to shoot. A shot, no good. Good D by Booker. For Phoenix, they've gone all five to start of the second quarter. Extremely cold shooting coming out of the locker room. And the shot is good. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by the Timberwolves. Now here's Edwards. He's got nine. They get a hand on it. And so the ball out of bounds. Beal touched it last. Minnesota has possession. They've only allowed two points so far here in the second half. Not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Now here's Booker. He's got 18. Kicks to Beal. But Trey. That doesn't go either for Beal. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. He is trying to shoot his way out of it, and it might be better for him to pass the basketball at this point. Now here's Booker following the miss by Michael Conley. Now here's Beal. Durant wide open. He fires. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. Durant's got 15. Oh, that's just such a pretty and smooth release. Durant with the distance delivery. This uh, game has a lot of character here in the third period. Six changes of the lead here. Intensity is the theme for this one. Here's Booker following the bucket by the Timberwolves. Gobert with the defensive effort. Towns up top. Guarded by KD. Yep, it counts. And now a three-point Minnesota lead. Well, the defense has been lackluster out of the locker room, and that is why they are finding themselves in a tough spot. Booker dishes to be it. And there's the call on Rudy Gobert. That's foul number two for him. Second foul. Second team foul. Here's the pass to Booker. Here's Nurkic. Gobert pulls it in. Gobert has got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Timberwolves passing it around. Outside, Towns. Shoots. Phoenix grabs the miss. Nurkic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Beal taking his time here. He kicks to Allen. Fires for three. Minnesota with the rebound. This guy just can't find his rhythm. And you look up at the scoreboard, they absolutely need his productivity. Conley's shot is off. Suns trailed by three. It's Allen on the win. Nurkic trying to get open. Second chance shot. Allen's shot is off. For Minnesota, they've gone better than 53% from the floor since halftime. Shooting 8 of 15. Well, he's got moves Bradley and Kimmel. counter moves inside. First, first Towns five. makes the defender first take team. his poison. And guys, what do you think about the offensive approach we've seen so far for Minnesota? The mid-range game the has been range. there for them all game long. And that old-school approach still getting it done in this one. They've also made a concerted effort to get the ball down low. Many of their points coming in that painted area tonight. And the first one at the line is good. So he hits both. Boy, a really soft touch on display. It is a luxury to have a big man who can hit from the line at a consistent rate. 
Peel against Kump. Nurkic kicks to Allen. Four on the clock. Stolen by Michael Conley. Down low. Here's Edwards. And the shot goes in. Edwards got the lead up to seven now for Minnesota. Pretty much all of their buckets coming from inside the paint now. Look around, son. Hot loose. Five to shoot. Beal from long range. And he's good on the three ball. Beal's got his third basket of the night right there. One, one make and six attempts. I, I think it's fair to say he's had a rough start to this quarter. And the Timberwolves call time. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And the guys get a little bit of a break. Mentally, physically, just recharge here quickly. Reed, he's checked in for Minnesota. Alexander Walker comes in for Michael Conley. And for the Suns, Eubanks, he's checked in for Yusuf Nurkic. And Royce O'Neal subbed in for Allen. Suns trail by four. On the wing, Booker. Here's Durant. That shot off. And it's the Timberwolves taking it the other way. Towns kicks to Edwards. Unable to get that one. Some solid defense there from KD. And the rebound battle split evenly thus far. Beal can't get it to go. Timberwolves leading by four. Here's Reed. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. I mean, even from over here, you can see that was pretty clear. This is his first free throw of the game. For Minnesota, Nas Reed taking two shots. That free throw, no good. Good on the second free throw. So it's Phoenix now. Now Beal, seven points in the game. A shot, and he's finally able to knock one down. Beal's got nine. And here's Edwards, he'll bring it up for Minnesota. It's a three-point game. And it's Devin Booker with the rebound. Booker's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Minnesota. Towns has got eight rebounds in this game. Here's Alexander Walker. He's covered by Beal. Here's Edwards. True on the 14 footer. Edwards got 10 points in just the second half. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Outside Beal. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got a rebound number nine now. What an effort here tonight. Edwards passes to Reed. Towns against Beal. Pass to Eubanks. Knocks it loose. Stolen by Reed. Inside. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Now that's 17 points for Anthony Edwards. Boy, that defense must be better. Anthony Edwards getting it done on the interior. Beal the pass to Booker. O'Neal against Edwards. 
It's Beal on the way. And they're moving it up. And finished off by Edwards. Goodness, Anthony Edwards. Always on the attack. This guy is just so dynamic. Cross contact on the shot. And now a three-point play chance as he'll head to the line. You love that this guy doesn't get down on himself after a rough first half. Keep your composure and keep grinding. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Warren's checked in for McDaniels. Phoenix also making some changes. Ole comes in for Kevin Durant. And it's Gordon in for Devin Booker. Free throw, no good for Beal. Bradley Beal entered the NBA as a sweet shooter, but consistent work and improvement has turned this guy into an absolutely lethal threat from everywhere on the floor. This is his third trip to the free throw line in the game. Paul Anthony Towns at the line for two. The free throw drops for Towns. Phoenix making some changes. Durant comes in for Bowl. And it's Devin Booker in for Bradley Beal. In town, drops them both. There's 53 seconds left to play in the third. Booker outside. Outside Gordon. From deep, and a great assist by Booker Gordon. as that one goes in. And they have been relentless from deep. And you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Kevin and Durant. finished up by Katie. Boy, Kevin Durant, an absolute nightmare in transition. Combined size, speed, great scoring ability. Look out. Now here's Edwards. 19 points in the game. Towns for three. Drains it from beyond the arc. Towns has got nine points in the quarter. This guy has been a catalyst for them all game long. What a job leading them to this lead. Basket good. Well, because of the size, Kevin Durant can get a clean look from mid-range pretty much any time he wants. Here's Alexander Walker. No good. It's been all about Carl Anthony Towns for the Timberwolves. Scoring, rebounding, he was all over the place during that quarter. They are writing his performance right now. We've got... And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them and what a beautiful feat. Nothing better than chemistry, right? Working together to create a bucket. NBA playoffs round one. Thanks for joining us as we get back to the action on the court. On the court for the Suns, we've got Gordon. Duran is out there with Allen. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic, and it's Booker in at the one spot. Towns kicks to Warren. The three. Rebound by Nurkic. Suns trail by five. Outside Gordon. Good job in the low post. Gordon. Gordon's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Phoenix. And you want him taking big shots for you in big moments. That one was as easy as it gets. Boy, when it's this close, you try not to give up these kinds of buckets. Boy, you got to do better defensively. And not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Reed, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. Monte Morris comes in for Michael Conley. Nurkic kicks to Booker. 
with some art, and there it is for him. Booker. Booker's got 20. This guy has so many shots up his sleeve. Devin Booker loves to go with that floater when it's presented to him. Here's Alexander Walker. Sends and the call on the shot foul. sends him to the line. It's the offense getting right to the rim. At least Half they the saved the lane. Nikhil Alexander Walker. Two shots. Knocks down the first one. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Well, they should be looking at a three point lead, hopefully, for them. That miss won't cost them. Morris against Booker. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Monte Morris. Well, there's an activity level and a skill level that makes Devin Booker problematic on the offensive end. He dares defenders to get physical with him. At the line for the Suns, Devin Booker. Two shots. Makes it, and the next one could tie it up. That one drops. He ties it up. And we've made our way through just over a minute and a half in this fourth quarter. Here's Alexander Walker. And it's Durant with the rebound. KD's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. That gives them the lead. Assisted by and that's now 10 Kevin points Durant. for Allen. We can get lost in the impact Kevin Durant makes as a scorer, but this guy is so willing to share the basketball. Reed can't hit that one. Great D that time from Nurkic. The game has been very close in a lot of areas, but rebounding has been the one differentiator thus far. Pass it to Allen for three. Good. A nice Good assist from Allen. Booker. Three points. Booker's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Timberwolves trailed by five. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. And that one drops for him. And that's right in his wheelhouse, looking to make an impact when it counts. And this is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance, he knows it's winning time. I'll tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for Phoenix. Well, I've Kevin been impressed Durant. with the ball movement all Taking game long. Shots. They're really looking to just make that extra pass. I think tonight has also, guys, been about the lost art of the mid-range jumper. If you utilize that in-between game right, there's plenty of value in it. And the first one drops. If you are a defender guarding Kevin Durant, you have got to have great stamina, both mentally and physically. He is as well-rounded an offensive player as the game has ever seen. And boy, good night when he starts to cook. Looking at who's out there now for the Timberwolves. Nick Daniels, he's checked in for T.J. Warren. And it's Mike Conley in for Morris. Durant hits them both. Timberwolves trailed by five. Here's Alexander Walker. Lays it up off the glass. Alexander Walker's got five points in the quarter. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense. That's just way too easy, guys. Outside Gordon. From outside the arc. That's good. And so Beal with the assist. Beal's got his eighth assist in the game. 
outside Conley. Anderson outside. Pass to Reed. And the officials will call the illegal scoop right there. He's really taking care of the ball. That's just his first touch for the Suns. When a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Bull, he's checked in for the Suns. Nurkic up top. Down to five on the shot clock. And here's Gordon from outside. He'll not drop through. That miss puts him at six for ten. Right side, Conley. The pass to Alexander Walker. Unloads. And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Norkic has got nine rebounds now tonight. And it's Beal in the corner. Launches it. Sinks the three-pointer. Allen. Allen's got a couple four, of three-pointers three. now in the fourth for the Suns. Yeah, those are starting to add up, guys. Up their last five baskets, three have been tripled. Anderson passes to Reed, and he takes that one up and powers it through. And no doubt they'd love to see him get a lot more of those opportunities. And that deficit will go away quickly if he does, Greg. Ask to Nurkic. Deal with it. Let's it go with a three. Rebound by Alexander Walker. When you're not in rhythm with the three ball, why do you keep firing from there? Addition out to come. Shoots over Beal. The offensive rebound. Yep, it goes in, and the Suns' lead is cut down now to just five on the baskets from Reed. And the beat not really doing its job there. A little slow to react to the ball getting into the paint. Gordon, the best to Nurkic. Stolen by Reed. Here's Alexander Walker. He's guarded by Nurkic. A shot by Alexander Walker, no good. Phoenix leading by five. Over in the corner, Allen. Cuts it five. And that one swishes right in. Allen's got ten points now, just in this quarter. What an aggressive mindset in this period. He's starting to take over. And the Timberwolves call timing. It's been a terrific night for him in terms of the scoreboard. They've run a bunch of sets for him, and he's continued to come through. Scoring as well as he has, it's taken a lot of pressure off the rest of his teammates. Some players rise to the occasion in the playoff spotlight, and some wilt under it. We know which type he is. What a stunning night for him. And now the latest from our reporter, David Alder. Hey, guys, here's what Chris Finch went over with his guys during the break. His concern was both their inconsistency and their amount of three-point shots. He said, let's move the ball for good shots. If you have an open three, take it. Otherwise, let's attack the rim and put some pressure on these guys. Kevin? Thank you, David. Here's Allen. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's on Anthony Edwards. At the line for the Suns. Grayson Howard at the line for two. And 
and he makes the first. And Allen drops them both. Timberwolves trail by nine. Looking to get it going. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Boy, don't let the small frame fool you. Mike Conley so tough on the interior. At the line for your Timberwolves, Mike Conley taking two shots. And that one falls for Mike Conley. I think Mike Conley historically will always be part of the grit and grind mentality where he spent his career in Memphis, but this guy's skill set allows him to fit in with any organization. He's perfect from the line this time. And so it's Beal who brings the ball up for Phoenix. They've led by as many as 11 points. He dishes it to Nurkic. Kicks it to Allen. It's tipped. Five on the clock. Passes it to Beal. Near the three-point line, it's Booker. Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Towns has got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. Pass to Conley. Now it puts up a three. And that one falls coming off Conley's feet. Conley's got assist number five here tonight. Booker with it. Working on McDaniels. Outside for Beal. There's the call on Durant. That'll be his third foul so far. Second foul. Second team foul. Timberwolves trailed by four. Conley the pass to Towns. And he uses the glass on the lane. And it's 29 points for Carl Anthony Towns. Boy, the well-rounded offensive arsenal allows Cat to deliver consistently on the offensive end. And boy, he is in rhythm right now. And they pick up two. So it's the Timberwolves now. Here's Edwards. And he gets it to go. Edwards got 24 points. Taking the contact in the NBA, such a critical skill. Anthony Edwards, the frame and the game. And there's the pass to Allen. Outside, Beal. Fires from deep. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. And the Suns lead by five. You know, put a rough first half behind him. He's absolutely crushing it here in the second. Edwards against Booker. Edwards, that's good. Edwards got seven points here in this quarter. I'll tell you, he's been much better in the second half. He's taking smarter shots. He's looking more comfortable. And guess what? He's in the groove. Booker the pass to Nurkic. And here's Towns. High post, Gobert to the middle. Here's Edwards. It's hauled in by the Suns. Allen for three. Minnesota with the rebound. Towns has got rebound number 12 here already in the game. It's Edwards on the wing. Defended by Durant. And the shot is good. The Phoenix Seas been cut down to one in the bucket from Towns. How about the demeanor of Towns well made for pressure situations. Two minutes remaining. As to KD. Two minutes. Good. It's Beal picking up the assist. 
Beal's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Beal against Connor. No good on the shot. And Phoenix the other way now. And the bucket is good. Three point play chance here for him. drops and that gives them a four point cushion. You get the feeling that KD loves the pressure because he knows what he's capable of doing for this team. And so both free throws are good. And it's a five point game. He's able to make it a two possession game with some solid work at the line right there. Here's Conley. It's hauled in by Kevin Durant. Phoenix has gone 4-7 with the long ball here in the fourth quarter. He gets it in there. Well, this is exactly how you want to attack the defense. Kevin Durant accepting the punishment, but refuses to be denied. with it. Pass to Towns. That one, no good. Great D that time from Durant. Allen, left side. That's in. Coming off the assist from Katie. And now a nine-point Suns lead. And once they smelled blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then so. And the Timberwolves call time. Put your hands they're trailing by nine. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Outside Conley. Let's the three fly. Drills it from outside. Well, Mike Conley's a veteran. What confidence. What clutch play. Nicely done. And they go to the intentional foul. Second personal foul. Team is in the game. The line for the Suns. Bradley Beal taking two shots. First free throw is good, and that makes it a seven point lead. And he hits both free throws here. So now it's an eight-point game. We've got 33 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Conley against Beal. Towns. And it's Durant with the rebound. And it's Durant with the ball. He'll bring it up for the Phoenix Suns. They've led by as many as 11 points. Outside, Beal. So the Suns win it. 
just a massive victory, Greg. Maybe it's overstating it, but I think this was a game they had to have. And I don't think it's overstated. I agree. I mean, going down 2-0 would have given this team a huge hill to climb. But